My name is uh, Dr. Rafael Kinoti. I'm the regional director at Brook East Africa. And we are happy actually to be here uh, this morning attending the 55th Kenya Veterinary Association Scientific Conference. Uh, so then as Brook East Africa actually are contributing to the ongoings of the conference here. Our work is basically animal welfare, donkey welfare, because then as you know, Kenyans use donkeys. And Kenyans actually in the rural areas use donkeys because it's a very hardy animal. It's a very resistant animal to drought and to all these uh, aspects. But then you look at the government, um, some of the policy issues have not covered this animal and that's why actually we specialize to the animal. And so then we have been training communities since 2012 on how to do donkey work or to work with donkeys in a better way, make their livelihoods better. Uh, but then I must also mention that actually since 2016 we have had a challenge that there was introduced the slaughter of donkeys in Kenya. And not just in Kenya, actually in a good number of countries in Africa. We have had a long dialogue with the government. Is this thing sustainable? The donkey slaughter, is it sustainable? Is this something actually that's going to earn communities money? Is this something that's going to be, to be a good business for communities? Every of the research has said that donkey slaughter in the world today is not sustainable. It isn't workable. China is the main market for this animal. China had 11 million donkeys in, by 1992. Today they have barely 2 million donkeys. The numbers have really gone down. Why? Because the world today doesn't have a technology of producing donkeys in big masses. And so the rate at which they are being consumed is so way higher than what we can produce today. And so that challenge itself, what it brings in Kenya is, you have um, communities that are using donkeys, but then the introduction of slaughter mops up the numbers of donkeys. And so when traders are around, there's a lot of stealing of donkeys. Uh, between 2016 and 2020, we recorded cases of like 10,000 donkeys stolen from communities. These are poor communities actually that really were depending on these animals. And so what we are telling the government is, let's stop that uh, trade because it's not going to benefit us. Let's do further research on this animal. Can we produce it a little bit more? Can we have the numbers to do this? So really those have been some of the advocacy works that we've been doing, but then also be doing a lot of advocacy in getting the donkey to be included in the national policies so that when the rest of the animals, for example, are being vaccinated, the donkey can also be vaccinated because then it is an important animal to many communities. Donkeys are actually threatened all over Africa. But then you find in Kenya, there are counties where donkeys are really, really used. In coast province, we all know of Lamo, where really communities have this cultural attachment to donkeys. And not just attachment. Donkeys in Lamu are a means of transport and a means of, you know, sustaining their cultures. But then go to the whole of Kenya. 70% of Kenya is are in semi-arid lands. Who drives the household economy there? Which livestock? It's not even the cow. Go to the household, you will find the dog there and the donkey next to it. Because then water will need to come home. Firewood, anything that goes to the market is on the back of the donkey because a woman can't carry that luggage to the market for that long distance. So really you go to households in arid semi-arid lands, we're talking of uh, Baringo, we're talking of Garissa, Wajia, Mandera, we're talking of Masabit, we're talking of Trukana, and even many counties actually here in, in the coast, even uh, Tana River. Donkeys, you go at the household, talk to the woman, they will tell you, this is my livelihood. This is the way I survive. This is the way I get water. This is the way I get uh, anything to the market. That, that's the essence of, of, of the donkeys in households. Kenyans have a bad culture towards donkeys. You know, one of the challenges is that the donkey is a very peaceful animal. You beat it, you pluck it, it won't bite you. This, that's how, you don't go doing that to a dog, for example because then you fight. Even with cows, they will turn against you. But because of the peaceful nature of the donkey, then people misuse it. 
it has been a culture. Umesikia hata asanti ya punda ni mateke. Sincerely speaking, it isn't just mateke. Donkeys sustain livelihoods. And so what we've been working with communities to do is to change their attitudes, actually. Help them to see that this animal actually you can handle it in a different way. Most of the community members, especially the young boys, they just don't have the patience. Because you will rarely find those donkeys that are operated by women being beaten in that way. Women, a woman who survived with her donkey to the market and back, actually even without a cane. But a young man, for the donkey to carry water, they believe they must beat it, they must prick it, they must do all this sort of thing. Is the attitude change. We, one of our greatest programs is on education. So we put these young people in groups and we help them to know how to handle the donkey. That actually you do this, you talk to the donkey like this, you, it will respond positively. You don't really have to use a cane. Of course we have had uh, cases where some of them become too much and then uh, because then it is illegal in this country actually to beat an animal until it bleeds. They are laws. So some of them we have had to process them through the law but most of them when we talk to them and train them we see them changing.